Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video I'm going to be telling you how you can set up your custom email account with your hosting or domain. Also, just a reminder that I do have a link in the description where you can check out more details on how to create your email plan with Hostinger and receive special discounts. Now, if you get a domain on Hostinger.com, it pretty much will always come with an email account, which you can redeem after you set up your Hostinger domain completely. Now today I'm going to go ahead and take you through that setup because when you get a domain name it's really nice to have an email address that does go with that domain name because then it's just more professional and your branding feels more cohesive. It's something I always recommend to anyone I'm working with when I'm working on their website. I tell them to get a domain name and then get an email that is attached to that domain name. For example, let's say your name was John and you had a woodworking company with the domain of John's Woodworking. What you could do is you could get john at johnswoodworking.com. Now the reason you would do this is because it's just a lot more professional than if you're using gmail.com to send emails. Gmail, although it's really good, just doesn't provide the same professional professional fill as having a custom domain name and a custom email with that domain name. So now let's go ahead and take you through how to set up that email address and how to get your own custom email address with your domain name. So what we're going to do is we're just going to log into our hosting or dashboard. And as you can see here, we are on our dashboard right away. We're just in the dashboard ready to start. What we need to do is we need to look under hosting now and we need to hit manage right under our hosting for my website. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that, click manage, and it's going to start loading. Now what pops up is essentially kind of your dashboard. You could view it as your C panel or as Hostinger calls it, your H panel. So what you're doing under here now is you're just going to scroll down. You're going to ignore everything else and you're going to find the tab that says emails. And under there, you've got a few email things, a few settings for your email. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and click email accounts. Now from here, it's just going to give us some details on our email account. And what we can do is we can go ahead and click create new email account, which is going to be really, really simple, going to be really straightforward. You don't need to pay attention to all these email details or anything about that. All you're just going to do is just going to hit create new account. Now, one thing you need to take into consideration is the email name. For example, what is it going to be at your domain name? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to call it sample. So as you can see, it'll be sample at sample com for me and then I've got my password which I'm not gonna show you obviously and then once this is all set up I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the create button what it's going to do is it's just going to process and load my account. And as you can see here down here, it's just automatically making my email account for me. It shows the space I have. It shows all that stuff. What we're going to do from here is we're just going to go ahead and hit settings on it. Make sure everything is set up perfectly. Now from here on the settings, you can change your mailbox size in megabytes. You can change your spam filter and antivirus. I'm just going to turn the mailbox size down a bit just because I don't need too much room at all. What I'm going to do then is I'm I'm gonna leave both of these on because those are really good for your security. You're always gonna to wanna to leave those on and then just hit update. From here, once it loads, once it updates, all I have to do is I just click my email button right next to here and it's gonna automatically pull up my mailbox pull up my webmail for Hostinger.com. This is incredibly simple. Hostinger is one of the easiest places to set up an email. And as you can see, there's my email, it is set up. All I have to do now is use it and compose emails and send emails, do whatever I want with it. As you can see, if you want to compose, you just hit compose and it'll let you make an email. You can send it to someone, there's a subject, and then there's your editor type. You can get plain text or HTML editors, which is really, really nice. You can change the priority of the email if you'd like to. You can add a return receipt or a delivery status notification and choose where you want to save your sent message to. Then another thing you can do is you can either save, attach, or send. Or if you want to set up a signature, what we can do is we can just go ahead and click cancel here. Then we're going to hit settings on our email page. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of preferences, identities, user interface, stuff like that. On the user interface tab, there's just a few general settings which you can change. You can change your mailbox view. You can change how messages are displayed, how they are composed, the contacts, the special folders, and the server settings. Another thing you can do is select the folders tab 
tab. From here, what you can do is you can change the settings, add a new folder if you want. You know, as you can see, we've got inbox, draft, sent, junk, and trash. We can add more, we can add less, we can change our settings from here. Identities is where you're gonna have your different identities. Right now, we've only got one and that's all that really matters. You can change your responses, your password, and filters, but I'm not gonna show you those for now. Going back to the mail, as you can see, we're back in our inbox, which is really nice, and this is pretty much all you need to know when you're setting up your Bluehost email. It's really, really simple, and that's all there is to it. Now, if you want to access it again, you can always just bookmark this page where your inbox is located. Just save it to your bookmarks and you'll always be able to pull it up from there. Another way to access it is obviously navigating through the H panel we're on right now. You would go to hosting or the home page. Under hosting, hit manage. Then once that loads, you're going to scroll down to email accounts and then you see your email account right down here, which you can go ahead and access from there. But that's not really important because the important thing is that you can just bookmark it and make it super simple, super easy to access. All right, so just to recap, Hostinger is one of the easiest places to set up a custom email. Now you wanna set up a custom email because setting up a custom email makes your brand feel more cohesive and just better overall. It's much more professional when you have a custom email as opposed to just some Gmail email. Well, thank you so much for watching. Now, if you do have any questions, just drop them in the comments and I'll be sure to respond. Also, just a reminder that I do have a link in the description where you can check out more details on how to create your email plan with Hostinger and receive special discounts. Well, thank you for watching. Till next time and have a great day.